welcome back to Beautico. My name is Ratika. Welcome to my channel. So today in this video, I am going to be showing you this beautiful matte soft brown glam look that I love doing. I feel like it looks so good whenever I want to do like a full on glam. This is the look that I do because it's matte. It's brown. It has that pinky browns as well. It's like a monotone look and it just suits my skin so perfectly. So I know you guys absolutely seem to love my brown matte look. So I thought I will film it for you guys because I know it is going to look absolutely amazing on Indian skin. So yeah, I hope you guys try it out. I think we should definitely get started with the tutorial. But before going, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time I upload a video. Now let's get started with this matte soft brown makeup look so i've already prepped my skin i've applied a moisturizer the pons super light gel my absolute favorite i've been loving using that moisturizer in this winter season because it just hydrates my skin so well and it's very lightweight okay so now i feel like i just need a tiny bit of more hydration so this is what i've been doing lately whenever i sit to do makeup i take my fix plus and just spritz my face with this that way once i go and apply all my cream products they blend so beautifully and everything looks like skin so i'm gonna do that Next, I like to take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and apply it in my T-zone generously. Now, this helps in filling my pores and just helping it last throughout the day because I have oily skin. So, I do need like a pore filling primer and this one is very, very light as well and actually makes my makeup like last throughout the day without me getting oily. So, I like applying this. Next, I like to apply a little bit of foundation and I've been loving this Nykaa All Day Matte Foundation. It is so good. The coverage is amazing. A little bit goes a long way and it looks like skin but it has a matte finish and lasts throughout the day. So I've been loving this Nykaa All Day Matte Foundation and my shade is Nutmeg. So I like to take it on the back of my hand. Just like one pump is more than enough because I don't like like a full coverage. I like a very medium coverage so I just dot it on my face like that and then I take my brush this is the pack 231 brush amazing to blend foundation and I'll just start buffing this into my skin Then I'm going to take a concealer. This one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Medium Sand. This has become like my go-to concealer. It is a medium to full coverage. It has a very hydrating finish under the eyes and it looks so beautiful, blends beautifully and it's very, very easy to use as well. So I'm going to take this and a teeny tiny bit goes a long way. So what I like to do is I'll just apply a little bit right here a little bit right in the corner of my eye and then a little around my mouth because as you can see I have a little darkness there and on my chin on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my t-zone I like to highlight with this and I'll also take a little bit and prime my eyes for the eyeshadow that we are going to apply even if i'm not applying any eyeshadow i make sure that i apply concealer on my eyes that way it looks more cleaner so that's what i love doing and then i like to blend it out with my damp beauty blender this one is from plume if i'm not wrong one of my absolute favorite beauty blenders because it's so soft and squishy and blends everything beautifully first i will blend like around my mouth on my t-zone and the last step is where i'll blend my concealer that way my concealer is sitting and you can call it marinating basically that's what the term is these days so that way once i blend the concealer later on i'm gonna get the most amount of coverage out of this concealer under my eyes so I'm just going to blend this out quickly because I don't want too much coverage around my mouth and then forehead. So 
Next, I like to do some cream bronzing, cream blush, and cream highlight. Today, for that, I am going to be using these Nude Sticks Nudies Blush Bronzer and Highlight. So, for bronzer, I am using the shade Terracotta Tan, and then for blush, I am going to use the shade Sunkiss, and then for highlight, I am going to use the shade Bubbly Babe. Right here. Some nose contour and right here and then I'm gonna use my same foundation brush to blend this out and then I like to blend my nose contour with my fingers itself Then to apply the blush, I like to take this brush from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. It's like a round top, small little round top dual fiber brush. And I'll just pick the blush from the, br uh, the, blush from the stick and then just start applying it directly on my cheeks in stamping motions. And it adds a little bit of glow as well and it literally like melts into the skin it's so beautiful I also take the blush and apply it on the bridge of my nose just like that and that looks sun kissed and then I will take the highlighter and I love applying highlighter with my fingers itself because it just warms the product and blends much more beautifully and looks a little bit more subtle. Look at that. It literally looks like wet skin. bit on my nose I'll go. and now I'll go ahead and set everything using my K Beauties loose powder now this is in the shade latte all-time favorite loose powder loose setting powder and I like to take my pack triangle puff I think that's what it's called and I will just dip it into this first set under my eyes by pressing this powder into my skin I don't bake these days I just press the powder into my skin and it just stays there without getting crazy throughout the day so this has been working for me so and on top of that I end up using very less amount of loose powder and it looks very very light on the skin and I'm just gonna set like in my t-zone right here Now I'm gonna fill and shape my brows using the Lakme Absolute Precision Eyebrow Artist in the shade Natural Black. I recently tried this and I love, love the way it, you know, shapes and fills my brows. It's pigmented but very blendable and then I will go ahead and set it with my e.l.f. Wow Brow Mascara. This step I never miss because that just makes my eyebrows look bushy. And I'll again take my spoolie and just spread the product. Then I like to clean up my brows using some concealer.
most important step for my brows to look bushy and a little bit on the natural side is my elf wow brow like i said it has like tiny fibers in it so it just adds a little bit more like volume to my lashes see do you see the difference now for eyes, I am going to be using this palette. This is the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate palette. And look at this palette. It's so beautiful. It has all the browns that I need. It has like champagne colors and like the perfect palette for me. You know to do glam looks as well as well as everyday looks because these browns I can wear on an everyday basis. So I'm going to start off by using this shade as my transition color and I'm gonna use the pack 032 brush it's just a round top fluffy brush that I like to use start applying this right in my crease and look at that it's so pigmented I'm applying it a little bit in my outer corners as well. Just using windshield wiper and circular motions to blend this out. That shade was called as Nice Buns. Now I'm going to use the shade Bless Your Heart, which is like a little bit of a deeper brown shade. And I'm going to apply very little bit of it right in my outer corners very close to my lash line just a little bit to add some depth and the brush that i'm using is the morphe x jacqueline hill brush jh40 this came in a brush set which was so good i know you can't find it right now but uh, there are many similar brushes available in the market i'll try and link it in the description box below for you guys I'm also using the same nice bun shade on the same brush and I am just going to run it through my bottom lashes just to add a little bit of color. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Bitter Half which is more like a bone shade color. It has a little bit of warmth to it. And the brush that I'm using is the Pack 102 brush. It's just a flat brush. Taking the same smaller brush, I'm just gonna blend these two shades. I didn't take anything on the brush just blending it out if you want to blend it even more you can take the nice bun shade and just marinate them together or marry these two colors together basically just like that and now i'm going to do a winged liner using the elf precision liquid liner in black Then I'm just going to take like a matte black eyeshadow and I'm just going to set my eyeliner in place using this black so that it turns completely matte. You see the difference like this is completely matte and this has a little bit of shine to it which I do not want. Anyway, I'm going to finish the eye look with some mascara. I'm first going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to use my absolute favorite mascara at the moment, the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. That is just one coat and look at how beautiful my lashes are looking. Really, if you haven't tried this mascara, you gotta get it.
and then one last step for the eyes is highlighting my inner corners so i'm gonna use this shade called as ooey gooey from this palette it's like a champagne gold shade and i am gonna apply this with a pointed brush this is a proart pe 29 brush next i will go ahead and apply a little bit of powder blush as well because i like my cheeks to look really flushed and i want the blush to be the highlight of the look because it just looks so beautiful so the blush that i've been loving like literally loving is this one from sigma this is the Corde de rosa sigma blush palette which has some beautiful shades but the actual Corde de rosa shade is like so good i had like a full pan of this but it got over that's how beautiful this blush shade is it's like a nudey pinky brown blush as you can see it's just so beautiful you have to see it and paired on top of this sunset blush from nude sticks the combination is just amazing so look at that just a little bit and it added such a beautiful pinky and then for lips this is like my favorite lip combo at the moment i'm gonna use the la colors gel lip liner in the shade cafe and then i'm gonna fill it in with my elf liquid matte lipstick in the shade proline what a beautiful shade you've got to see this isn't that like the perfect nude shade it suits my medium skin so well i absolutely love it and one last step is of course a little bit of setting spray to lock the makeup so that it doesn't move throughout the day So this is my matte soft brown glam look that I love doing it just suits me so perfectly and everything looks so sultry and so beautiful I love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you all did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'm gonna go now and I'll see you all in my next video very very soon and let bye